There's a civil war in the mind of the liberal. On the one hand, you have right. the defense. We're right here, dude. I know. No, no, it's in your head. <laughs> in your head. And, Tell me about my brain some more. Right. Though, so on the one hand, you're a defender of individual rights, mm -hmm. and if this were the Catholic and Church, right, and minorities. If it was a Catholic Church, you'd be all on it. Right. But on the other hand, you're committed to multiculturalism, and Islam is a victim, and we don't want to make the Muslims feel bad. That was Bill Maher and Dinesh D'Souza last Friday talking about Western society and radical Islam, a debate that's playing out also in the run-up to the opening of the 9-11 Memorial Museum next week. The museum, under enormous pressure to remove the terms Islamist extremist and jihadism from a brief seven-minute film about the 9-11 attack. Joining us tonight, Dinesh D'Souza, the conservative commentator and creator of the upcoming film America, and Harris Zafar is the national spokesperson and director of youth outreach for Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA. And we're going to start with Mr. Zafar. Welcome to you both. Thank you so much. All right, uh, Mr. Zafar, what are your specific objections? Do you know enough about the museum, about the film, about the concerns that have been raised? Uh, yes, yes, I do. I mean, I'll begin by saying that 9-11 is an integral part of the U.S. history, and we wholeheartedly agree on the need to accurately capture what happened that day, and that's what the purpose of this museum is. And even mentioning al-Qaeda is no problem at all, because, in fact, they should be identified uh, in their role on that awful day, uh, that awful tragedy that day. What gives Muslims, including us, pause, as well as non-Muslims, including even the, uh, the museum's own interfaith uh, advisory group, is when acts are used or labeled as Islamic or they're, used by, they're referred to by Islamic Arabic terms, such as jihad, because the use of those terms implies that this terrorism, the violence, and the murder are, are consistent with the teachings of Islam. So there, there's not a sufficient amount of nuance applied when these terms are used. So all we're asking for is that the 9-11 Museum use language of then-President George W. Bush, who was very clear that there was nothing Islamic about what happened on 9-11. Well, there is a difference, obviously, in using the word Islamic and Islamist extremists. I mean, those are different phrases. And, you know, the folks at the museum say they are aware of these concerns. They've tried very hard to make sure that everybody um, is accommodated, but without sacrificing the historical content. I want to read a little bit of the film. Um, it's not been released, but we have a little bit of the narration, which is done by Brian Williams. Um, part of it says, the program tracks al-Qaeda's embrace of violence and the decision of its leadership to commit mass murder at the dawn of the 21st century. Uh, there are other portions, though, that do identify this as a jihad and use the words Islamist right. extremist. Uh, are right. you okay with that phrase? Well, I mean, in, do you think in it's my, accurate? My well, uh, well, it, it's, it's not in the, in the way that it's being used. I mean, I've written in, in my new book, Demystifying Islam, Tackling the Tough Questions, I have an entire chapter dedicated to jihad. So I'm absolutely, uh, I strongly agree that there are people who commit these atrocious acts that, that hide behind this name of jihad. But by, by claiming that this is jihad, which is not the true meaning of the word jihad, what you're doing is you're alienating the, those people that can help resolve this issue, which are Muslims. And I mean, I, I know many Americans, including yourself, Shannon, and your viewers, want to see the moderates fight the extremists. But it's very difficult for us to do that job if uh, the faith that we cherish is being conflated with extremism. So that's why what we want to do is, is to explain that you can't just say that what they're doing is committing jihad, because what I'm doing on this television screen right now is jihad. It's that struggle to, to, to do good and also defend what the true teachings of Islam are. So all we want to do is give an opportunity for the true, authentic, documented teachings of Islam to defeat this hate-filled ideology that the cowards are hiding behind. All right, Mr. Svar, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it.